All right, big guest, huge guest. Next guest is in town to share his passion for teaching and making learning fun. Steve Spangler is a scientist who you've no doubt seen on Ellen DeGeneres, excuse me, marbles in my mouth. He's in town to take part in the annual Reach Them to Teach Them event tonight at the Tennessee Theater. Before he does that, though, he stopped by the studios to have a yes. little fun with us, to show off some experiments. How are you? Great to see you. To see. There's a fire going hey, on. what is going on here? It's huge, and, you know, but it's just that igniting thing. You know, I found the people at the airport don't find that funny. So, um, <laughs> Boy, that's a welcome. You get to go to a new room and be, meet new people, and you kind of know how that works. Isn't it fun? A science teacher gets to be on a television show. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Thank you. Well, well you've been on all it. kinds of television shows, won many Emmy Awards, but tonight uh, you are going to bring some special thoughts and, uh, and some cool experiments to the Tennessee Theater. It's going to be a packed house for teachers. Tell us why we're doing this. Uh, reach Them to Teach Them, a wonderful organization. All I had to do is talk to Amy Crawford on the phone for five minutes and kind of understand her passion. I know that you know her passion as well. She's trying to reach children, as I think all teachers do, but she also realizes the fact that you have to reach teachers. So teachers have to be well. Teachers have to be uh, ready to go. They have to be ready to teach. They have to be able to see the things in kids, see that spark, that aha moment, and they have to have their own passion for making learning fun. Yeah. So if they're excited tonight in the theater when things kind of erupt a little bit and you see them excited we think that excitement carries back to the classroom well and I personally love that you're paying attention to teachers my mother's taught for almost 40 years so it's yeah. great that you're reaching out to them re-energizing them um, and you're going to share some experiments I do want to know are you going to share the whole uh, the old Diet Coke and Mentos <laughs> that's what you're funny? known for right well, well uh, one of there's them. a wonderful station in Denver that's a sister station here and uh, a wonderful anchor by the name of Kim Christensen was in the backyard in 2005 dressed just like you're dressed it was beautiful I told her to stand back. We'd done it on the air many, many oh, times. No. She didn't stand back and she got covered three <laughs> times on live TV. And you know what the bloggers did. They kind of went with it. And so that really was the start of the whole Mentos Diet Coke phenomenon. Although we teachers have been doing it for 20 years yeah. with other candies. It was just a wonderful way to teach kids how that carbon dioxide comes out. Just incredible. Oh, and, yeah. and now you have, you have toys out. You have books out. Talk about how things are going with your career. Well, I firmly believe that you te I spent a long time uh, as, a, as a teacher and in school schools and so I firmly believe that we've got to teach teachers and, and so one of the the platitudes that we believe to be true is if it gets to the dinner table you win you know if a teacher is creating an experience not just an activity but great teachers create these unforgettable experiences the kind that kids talk about at the dinner table if you can do that kids will write about it talk about it internalize it bring it back to the next level so I'm, I'm uh, having a blast right now and getting a chance to do this kind of thing as a teacher and kind of helping uh, maybe elevate the teaching profession a little bit to say hey listen we are we, we do some pretty cool things in the classroom yeah. and parents are seeing it oh, well we mentioned Ellen uh, you're going to be back on Ellen's show this week is that right on the, they're on their Halloween show on Friday so go from here to Burbank and and to do that that's always a fun experience you know Ellen never watches ahead of time in terms of practice or so forth so it's always fresh when we're right there will you and be the, the mad scientist or what well, you know it's a costume show so I have no idea being from Colorado what I'm going to be I just don't want to be balloon boy all right so as long <laughs> oh, as I'm not balloon boy uh, We've had enough of that. Yeah. Everything will be just fine. And, but we do have some surprises okay. uh, for some brand new demos. So. Very good. Yeah, absolutely. And Steve, how can folks learn more about what you do and your experiments? Website or anything like that? Oh, absolutely. It's simple. It's over at stevespanglerscience.com. So at stevespanglerscience.com, we put videos up there and all the stuff from uh, YouTube. And, uh, and there's about 400 experiments. So it's science fair time. So lots of people are going for ideas. Right. Just a great place for, isn't it fun to be a hero? You know, if you're a mom or you're a dad, isn't it great when in the eyes of your kids, they think you're amazing? It's pretty fun to do that. And so if you can do some things that kids look at you and go, oh, that's amazing. How'd you do that? Mm -hmm. That just energizes the soul. All right. Are, are we going to be doing any experiments? We, I just happened to stop at the store. Okay. And we we'll just happened to find some mints. And so we, <laughs> we might do something in the backyard. What do you think? Yeah, I need the umbrella, I think, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Man, okay. So Steve is going to stay with us. Uh, coming up, he'll show some of his incredible experience. We really appreciate you taking yeah. time. I know My you're very busy. I appreciate you having us on the show. And to be a part of the yeah. big event tonight, it'll be, be a blast. It's going to be great. We'll talk more about that as well. Yeah. Live at 5 continues. He's going to share some of those experiments. Welcome back. We are outside because the great Steve Spangler is with us and, and <laughs> for those of you who are just joining us the Mentos and Diet Coke he kind of popularized and, and it just went crazy and now he, he's doing such great work with
teachers and students all across the country. So, Steve, thanks for being with us today. Well, you're very nice. And have you ever done this before? I have. All right. Uh, on Fourth of July one year, we decided no fire. We're going Spangler. We, we, well, we call that Star Spangler fire Banner. Works. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> that's what that's called. All right. So, if people are, have never seen it before, let me show you how to turn it into a science project okay. real fast. If you take Mentos, these wonderful mints, and you drop them into soda, you get this little eruption that takes place. All right. And the reason for that is because there's little spa, uh, there's little pits on the outside of the Mentos, and they're called nucleation points. They're just little rough edges on the outside. So what I did is I put them in this test tube that's here. So here, let me grab that. Oh, it's perfect. So let's do it this way. I want to see how many Mentos would be best. All right, so here's three. Okay. And when you drop them down inside, all the carbon dioxide goes running to those little Mentos. All right, so if we turn it over like this and we just give a little drop inside, we see how well three does. See, hey! It's not very good. See? Okay, three. that's not who, bad. Who, who, no, but for a all party, right. you're right, not then. playing that game. You know, For a party, <laughs> you want to fire it up. So then a kid might say, all right, so same Diet Coke, uh, and this is fun. Oh, I always tell people, don't try this at home. Try it at a friend's home, right? So you always, <laughs> all right, so let's try 11, because 11 might be a lot of fun. This is, is that fun? This is just so much fun to do it at somebody's that house. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that kind of works along the way. And so now there are all these variables. So you might do seven or 11 or four, but I'm only changing one variable. I might change different soda. It'll always be the Mentos Diet Coke experiment, won't it? Yeah, always, always. No matter what happens, yeah. no matter what happens at all. So this is kind of it, and this is, uh, this gives us uh, 13, 13 of those little Mentos, which are kind of fun, and that falls down inside. Again, as soon as they fall, the carbon dioxide goes running to those little imperfections, and you get this beautiful... Oh, look at that! Gosh, isn't that great? How many times have you done that? Uh, enough to put the kids through college. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? You, you do it as many uh, times as kids want to see it, and you, as a teacher, here's what you know. When a kid looks at you and says, do it again, then you, you got know em. you hit them. And then you say, really, if I did it again, what would I do this time? And make them make the change. And once they're making the change, they're starting to think critically. This is a hook. It grabs their attention. But the masterful teacher is able to go turn it into a great yeah. lesson. Isn't Incredible. That fun? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Well, tonight at the Tennessee Theater, dinner starts at 5. It's for teachers and coaches and, and youth leaders and uh, Tickets are twenty dollars. Hopefully, people have been sponsored at this point and won't have to pay. But I think there are very few seats left. I was at lunch with them today, and they're scattering for the last couple of little ones. Yeah. So I think we're going to have a. There's going to be an energy at that theater that you uh, that you may have never seen before. Whenever you pull teachers together like that, yeah. it's quite amazing. It's a special group of people, and, yeah, and we're glad so. you're in town. Thanks, Steve. Hey, thank very you. Much. I'm very very excited, and I get to be out here in the rain yeah, with that's you. Right. That's this awesome. Is great. Yeah. All right, and now I think are we talking about weather right now? 